here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with my monthly grocery haul to BJ's and to Trader Joe's. Now, if you guys are interested in the BJ's video, I aired that one yesterday, so there'll be a direct link to that one at the end of this video. This one is just Trader Joe's. I spent $164.63. Pumpkin has exploded in there. When I went last month, it really just hadn't even started to be cracked out onto the shelves. But when I walked in there this time, it just gave me all the feels. So I can't wait to share with you guys what I got. Okay guys, so I wanna save the pumpkin stuff for last just because it really makes me so happy and I wanna share that last. I wanna save the excitement. So for starters over here, I got the organic green beans. These are the ones that are in the fresh aisle. I absolutely love them. Jake eats them raw with ranch dressing for school. And then when I start to notice that maybe they're not good for fresh eating, I throw them in the freezer and we have them for a hot meal. I have always been obsessed with their gnocchi, but we used to just get the Sorrentino kind, and then my girlfriend Jill said we should try the Gorgonzola, and I can't with this one. It is so much better than the Sorrentino. Absolutely my favorite. It's almost like a really creamy, just white mac and cheese. It's so, so good, so I got two bags of that. One bag of the vegetable fried rice. I know you guys are not going to be able to believe it, but there's no mandarin orange chicken in my grocery haul this time, but there was a big deal on the Innovation sweet and sour chicken, like buy one, get two free at my local grocery store. So I have a bunch of that kind of chicken, but I did get their rice just because I absolutely adore that rice and it goes perfect with any kind of oriental meal. So I picked up a bag of the vegetable fried rice two bags of their sweet corn, a package of their organic celery hearts. This is their Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese, one can of organic black beans, and one of their organic kidney beans, a bag of our white cheddar corn puffs, which are very similar to Pirate's Booty, we love them. I usually get these tomatoes from BJ's, but I decided to try them from Trader Joe's this time. They look really yummy. This is their pearl tomatoes, so they look like they'll be really good on salads. I got the white organic jasmine rice. We really like this too. This is the microwavable bags, and I figured that would really go good with that Innovation sesame chicken too, so I picked up that. Two boxes of our yogurts in a tube. The kids absolutely love these. There's four cherry and four berry. And, you know, unfortunately, I have two littles that when you give one to one, they line up for the other one. So we go through these fairly quickly, and I only go once a month. That's why I grabbed two boxes of those. Got the Persian cucumbers. I love this with dill. It's been, like, my definitely my obsession lately. So um, got picked up that. Look how pretty these carrots are, guys. I love these. They do have a big bag of them, but last time I just didn't like them as much because you had to peel them and stuff. But these are more like the fingerling kind with the actual, like, little carrot tops. They're so cute for this time of year. I love them. I got a bag of mandarin oranges. I got our chocolate-coated chocolate chip cookie dunkers. We love these. Got a container of our orange juice, a mirepoix for a soup recipe. I got uh, the bag of the cut and peeled carrots, the organic kind. Okay, you guys, so I'm obsessed with these. Like, these things are so ridiculously fabulous. And when I found them in Aldi's, I was excited because I know that I go to Aldi's way more than Trader Joe's. But unfortunately, uh, they were more expensive. Usually, Aldi's beats them in price. But theirs was $2.49 for the same amount of ounces. And this was $1.99. So I picked up two bags of these. And hopefully, that will last me. But I eat, like, a handful a day because they really are so yummy. I got one whole chicken. I'm excited about having that. My mama is coming in from New York, so she loves this kind of stuff, so I think I'm gonna make that for her. I got a bag of rigatoni and a bag of the penne rigatti. Got the organic bag of the organic gold potatoes. I'm making a potato and bacon cheddar chowder soup in a freezer meal video coming up. Got one of these thing of organic oats. I have another DIY kind of recipe that I need that for. 
got some of the Cabernet pot roast. I've gotten this a bunch of times. This is super expensive, it's almost, almost $17, but I would pay $25 for it. It's worth every stinking dollar. It's absolutely so delicious. My birthday is coming up and I think this is what I'm gonna make on my birthday next week because it's just absolutely fantastic. Speaking of my birthday, I picked up this bottle of wine. There's a funny story. So my girlfriend Leanne from Grady's Mom, she talked about this wine and it was a peach Moscato Diasti from the same brand. And I went looking for it and I couldn't find it and I asked the manager to help me and he tried to help me find it but it wasn't there. He said that maybe it might be out of season. And I said, okay, well, I'll just get this one. It's my birthday bottle of wine, so I really want the peach one, but it's not a big deal. I'll settle with that one. And when he found out it was my birthday, he gave me this free little pack of flowers. I thought that was so sweet, and it made up for me not getting the peach wine. So I thought that was super cute. I'm looking forward to sharing that on my birthday. So I got a package of the blueberry cereal bars. My kids love those, as well as a box of the blueberry waffles. They eat those up like crazy. And then now we're into the all, look at this guys, like everything seasonal, everything pumpkin, just screams happiness to me right here. So these kids, the kids really love these cereal bars and this is the best deal and the best place to find them. And I, I saw the pumpkin and being that these things are like limited edition, I'm such a sucker for them. Normally I get two boxes of the blueberry waffles, but I got one blueberry and one pumpkin because obviously you had to have the pumpkin. And then, look, look at these little mini pumpkins on trees. Like, I don't even feel like they're pumpkins. I think these are actually like tomato vines. And these are like kind of tomatoes that look like pumpkins, but they're not cheap. They're, they're expensive, it's like $8 for this bunch and they're kind of dying a little bit, but I had to have them. Leanne dropped eucalyptus off to me last week when she went, so I totally have to put it with this and this and make a big bouquet, so I'm excited. Uh, I got pumpkin pie spice that I need for my French toast crock pot recipe, so I'm excited about that. Got the kids the organic toaster pastries, of course, in the pumpkin flavor. Got this pumpkin pancake and waffle mix. I think I'm gonna make a huge batch of pumpkin waffles and freeze them. This isn't exactly pumpkin, but it's pumpkin shaped. I thought the kids will get a kick out of this. So this is their Jojo cookies, like their Oreos, but it's filled with the orange cream because it's for the Halloween. So I thought that was cute, little jack-o'-lantern face. But the kids will like those. Got this for Maya, she was out of cereal. I think that she'll eat this up. If not, I will. So it's the Trader Joe's Pumpkin O's, like Cheerios, but pumpkin flavor. So absolutely sounds delicious. You guys, look at how gorgeous this gourd is. Like, I love this pumpkin. I, there's so many. I put on Snapchat, like, the whole out front area where they have all the pumpkins, like, the sage green and the cream white and the ones with the little, like, warts on them. Just, it just, that's what gives me all that fall feel. I just absolutely love it. I could have stayed there all day. I uh, got the pumpkin spice coffee. I heard this was really good, so I'm anxious to try that. Um, everybody raves about their body butter, and I always meant to get the coconut one. I think Gina told me to get that. I've never treated myself, but being that I had a birthday gift card, I wanted to do something special for me. And again, this is limited edition, so I got the pumpkin body butter, so I'm anxious to try that. And then look, I love their little seasonal pasta, like last, um, a month was the red, uh, white, and green one, like the tri-colored pasta, and it was all the pretty squiggles. And now this one is like, looks like pumpkin shells. Like, I love that. I can't wait to make like a fall pasta salad. Like, that sounds so yummy. Like maybe with like toasted almonds and cranberry. I don't know, I can't wait. And then I just picked up a couple of cards. Um, it's my nephew's birthday coming up, and I have another birthday coming up, so I just grabbed a couple of cards for that. And that was it. Again, guys, this was $163.64.
Okay guys, so before I close out this video, I just wanted to pop back in real quick just to go over my meal planner really quick. I always get tons of questions asking about where I get this from, and this is the Carriel meal planner. She's the maker and designer of these, and her brand new covers and designs have just come out for the 2018 fiscal year. They are absolutely gorgeous, but they don't last long. So if you guys are interested in one of these meal planners, make sure you check the description box box below or enter 50 shades of mom at checkout that'll give you 10% off of each item or 30% off a digital purchase so you actually could purchase this book in its entirety in color format but you would just have to print it yourself it wouldn't come bound but I always get so many questions and being that her new designs are out and they're absolutely gorgeous but they never last long I wanted to just pop back in and say like hey if you guys are interested make sure you check a description box there's a direct link right there for you guys. Okay guys, so that is it for this month's Trader Joe's haul. I hope that you love all the items like I did. I truly enjoy shopping in that store. It's like a joy and not a chore. So if you love Trader Joe's as much as I do, give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new, I'd love for you to stick around. I do do a Trader Joe's video once a month and I have a whole playlist full of Trader Joe's videos. So make sure you check them out and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.